Archbishop uh, Dr. Stallings and his wife and two children, who are sitting and taking care of the American clergy and the leadership conference. We pray for your success always. We, uh, Vice Chairman, Reverend Tom Cox and others, we pray that in 4,000 churches around Washington, D.C., we pray for their success always. And they invite many of the clergy and religious people. And we pray for our pastor, Reverend Xavier Oliver, his wife, who is our daughter, Brianna. We pray for their success always. Prosperity and good health, as we pray also for all our members who are tuning in to the Hulu case and also connecting to us on our Sunday services. And we pray for all those people that we are trying to invite and that even the people around here, we pray that they will be invited in their own time as we prepare always research for lectures to really spread the word about our true paths and we pray all this in all our names. I mean my name, Athanasius Francis Dickerman, bless and look at it. Our Jew, our Jew, our Jew. Good morning. We're now on a new subtopic from the world scriptures and the teachings of our Father, Reverend Sun Myung Moon. We're now on page 555. Five, five. And it's the second subtop our subtopic, a new world of peace and joy. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of the heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. Yes. And God himself will be with them. Yes. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall be mourning or nor crying nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And he who sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Also he said, Write this, for those or for these words are trustworthy and true. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give from the fountain of the water of life without payment. He also conquers. He who conquers me shall have this heritage, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. And I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God the Almighty. And the Lamb and the city has no need of sun or moon to shine upon it, for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. By its light shall all the nations walk, and the kings of the earth shall bring their glory into it, and its gates shall never be shut by day. 
and there shall be no night there they shall bring into it the glory and the honor of the nations yes. but nothing unclean shall enter it nor any one who practices abomination or falsehood but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life and this is from the Bible Revelations chapter 21 verses 1 to 27 it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the Lord or the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills and all the nations shall flow to it and many peoples shall come saying come let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem he shall judge between the nations and shall decide for many peoples they shall bear their so beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks nation shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they learn war anymore and this is from the book of Isaiah chapter 2 verses 2 to 4 we continue still on page 555 in the city joyful dwell the saints of God neither suffering nor sorrow in is found therein neither anxiety to pay tribute nor any impulse neither fear of retribution nor of fall from eminence in this happy land where my dwelling is abides an ending well-being all who therein dwell are blessed with eternal kingship none is there reckoned inferior to any that city knows no decline its citizens are rich and fulfilled unlimited their freedom none are alien there all in true liberty abide says Ravidas the emancipated cobbler only a city, citizen of that city reckon I my friend this is from Adi Granth Gauri Ravidas page 345 Sikhism on the day when we shall roll up heaven as a scroll is rolled for the writings as we originated the first creation so we shall bring it back again a promise binding on us so we shall do for we have written in the Psalms about their remembrance the earth shall be the inheritance of my righteous servants this is from the, the Quran Surah 21 verse 104 and now we have the teachings of our father, Reverend Sun Myung Moon, on page 556. Uh, Uh, 
and we read the teachings of our true father, the Reverend Dr. Sang Myung Moon. God had a purpose when he created human beings, and if that purpose had been fulfilled, this world would be one great human family unified in love, where all humanity would live in peace as brothers and sisters, attending God as their parent. In the ideal world, each individual's mind and body would be one. Families would be one with each other. All ethnic groups would be one with each other. All nations would be one. The Orient and the Occident would be one. And God and humanity would be one. That is to say, the unified world is a world which fulfills God's purpose of creation. I exist for my family, my family exists for my community, my community exists for my nation, my nation exists for the world, and the world exists for God. This is the principle of heaven's sovereignty. The whole world is God's, but since you are living for God, the world is yours as well. That is God's, that is God's, the whole world becomes yours. Isn't that wonderful? When you offer what is yours for your family and your family offers itself for your nation and your nation for the world and the world for God, then God gives everything to you. The whole world is yours. The entire universe is yours. God's ultimate desire is for humanity to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth. There, God and human beings will be totally united. From the true parents at the corner, at the, at the center, I'm sorry, expanding to true children, true tribes, and true people, God will be our Father and we will be His children in a consecrated relationship that is free from sin according to the holy will of God that does not allow for sin. The kingdom of heaven on earth will be established only when we make a world where everyone lives for the sake of others. This is a speech of October 20th, 1973. And we read, In the future there will be no one, no more wars. Wars until now were useless fights for selfish ends. People fought simply to take from others. However, in the unified world established under God's king kingship, everyone will live for the sake of others. Therefore, war will no longer be necessary. People will no longer want to take from, other from their neighbors. Instead, your neighbor will try to give you so much that you will have to run away from them. <laughs> this sounds so good. Yeah. <laughs> I want to repeat that. <laughs> they give you more and more. <laughs> In the future, yeah. there will be no more wars. Mm -hmm. 
was until now were useless fight for selfish ends. People fought simply to take from others. However, in the uni unified world established under God's kingship, everyone will live for the sake of others. Therefore, war will no longer be necessary. People will no longer want to take from their neighbors. Instead, your neighbors will try to give you so much that you will have to run away from them. Law will disappear in a world where people govern themselves with love. They will automatically fulfill the law. When people live for the sake of each other, there will be no problem re requiring resource, uh, recourse to the law. Higher and lower will become one. Front and back will become one. Left and right will become one. All will become one. And this is a speech of November 24th, 1991. And we read, The age is coming when God and humankind will live as one in the ideal world of creation, the world of heart, the age is coming where everyone will realize that living for the sake of others holds greater eternal value than living for the self. The blind age of selfish life will pass away as we build an altruistic world of interdependence, mutual prosperity, and universally shared values. For this purpose, all should have correct knowledge about God and spirit world and testify to the world about the heavenly path. They can, then we can lead humanity appropriately to establish the universal family and in heaven um, oh sorry the universal family therefore let us work to establish God's fatherland and hometown the kingdom of God on earth and in heaven by investing ourselves for the sake of others with absolute love and changing love and eternal true love, looking to the day when we can offer all heavenly sovereignty to God. And this is a speech of December 27, 2002. And we read, In the ideal society or nation, all people transcending nationality and skin color will cooperate with one another to live in harmony and happiness with the awareness that they are all children of the one God, stemming from the one true parent. They will relate as brothers and sisters in one global family. Blessed central families who have restored their lineage, the realm of ownership and heart, and who are united with the true parents' language and culture, and will take the lead in establishing a world of freedom, peace, and unity. There, all people will live in interdependence, promote mutual prosperity, and share universal values. Emanced in the culture of God's heart. Therefore, 
the world will have nothing to do with corruption, injustice, war or crime. Humankind will eliminate the source of pollution in the global environment and love and, and, love and protect nature as its, its true owner. People will labor and perform their daily tasks joyfully and with a loving heart, always aiming to serve and benefit others. These will gradually equalize people's standard of living. Education will include highly developed technology and scientific materials. But before, before knowledge, sports and technology, priority will be given to education of the heart and norms of blessed family life in order to raise the chosen people who can follow the way of heaven. And, and this is a speech of April 3rd, 1995, New Hope Farm Declaration. I think this was in Jardim. In Brazil. Brazil, yeah. <coughs> yeah, and now we. Oh, it's exactly 5:30. Uh, we have a new subtopic. Uh, number three a world of godly people who possess the kingdom within themselves. Uh, we will. And this is on page 557. I think we can continue on that subtopic tomorrow and uh, we can end our Hundoke reading here. These were wonderful words this morning. Uh, reading A New World of Peace and Joy from page 555 and uh, reading from the, uh, the Bible. We read uh, the book of Isaiah, the Revelation, and we read from Sikhism, and we read from the Quran, and then the teachings of Sang Moon have been the most wonderful words, uh, assuring us of the nature of the people of the kingdom that is surely coming, that is not actually coming, it has already started, because the foundation day has already been declared. Uh, we had our anniversary of uh, Foundation Day uh, this year. Mm -hmm. So um, this is um, uh, great words, and therefore they come from the Old Testament. Yeah. Is de declaring here through the book of Isaiah the same same ideal that God was looking for from those days uh, is still the hope and the desire of God and humanity together to achieve this world. Then we read in the book of Revelation and that is in the New Testament saying the same thing. I love this verse uh, from the Bible uh, that says and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven, the heaven of Satan, where Satan <laughs> lived with his kingdom, the way we know of the selfish people living in their own joy and uh, selfishly having, holding so much billions and millions for themselves when the masses are suffering. Yeah. That kind of heaven is the one that I, uh, Revelation is saying, uh, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven. And the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. 
We know from the divine principle, interpretation of the word see is the, it means seen. And seen will be no more. That, that's what this verse uh, is interpreting here. Yes. And I saw a holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned with her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is with man. Hallelujah. He will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death will be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. Yes, those things that of the privileged and the underprivileged, those of, uh, we know the histories of uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, the royals and the subjects will disappear. All human beings are children of God. And each family, in each family, there is a king and a queen. Yep. So everyone is royal because we are royal children of God. And therefore the royalty will spread to each homestead. It will not belong to these earthly kingships that we look at them today and we see they are all just a showcase that is miserable that is uh, look at uh, I'm not ashamed to say about look at the kingship in England yeah. this top nation mm -hmm. when you look at them the queen and all those and the, 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 the princes and the, 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 the stories going around them it's, fallen. it's all fallen and miserable and uh, uh, other than them holding their position there and uh, for you would wonder why then you would see it is not the kind of kingship that even me I don't want to be that kind of a king or a prince like Prince Charles. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be marrying and then uh, my wife dies and uh, in an accident and he looks, it looks all very weird. Those are the things we are saying here that uh, they are gone. They will be gone because the true royalty of God's children will be in every homestead. And then uh, that is really the promise of Chinelbu. And that's why we have in our eight verses of the pledge, uh, pledge number three says, Our family, the owner of Chinelbu, pledges to perfect the four great realms of heart, the three great kingships and the realm of the royal family centering on true love. So this is the new reality that is in every homestead. And then uh, uh, when we read about true father's words, they are just so sweet. They are so energizing. I think when, they, when we read this, uh, maybe we should put them on TV we should put them on um, radios, we should put them on, and everyone should listen to these words every morning. All radios, all TVs, all channels should recite these words of True Father every morning about the age is coming. I'm reading on page 556. Five, 
Um, the uh, in the future there will be no more wars. Wars until now were useless fights for selfish ends. People fought simply to take from others. However, in the unified world established under God's kingship, everyone will live for the sake of others. Therefore, war will no longer be necessary. People will live longer and want to take People will no longer want to take from their neighbors. Instead, their neighbors will try to give you so much that you will have to run away from them. <laughs> These words, they should be repeated in the, all channels, all, and they will influence people's minds. People to start to think that they can give to their neighbors so much to make them run away because of they are having so much. Mm. So there is no need of stealing. Mm. And you will have, there will be no lack. No one will lack anything if we have neighbors like this. All around ourselves we are giving to each other in this, ma in this way. We will wake up to just exchange our gifts in the morning and have breakfast together mm -hmm. and uh, have dinner together and have lunch together and uh, uh, I like the word where we read again the law will disappear the age is coming when God and all humankind will live as one in the ideal world of creation the world of heart the age is coming when everyone will realize that living for the sake of others holds greater eternal value than living for the self. The blind age of selfish life will pass away as we build an altruistic world of interdependence, mutual prosperity, and universally shared values. For these purpose, all should have correct knowledge about God and the spirit world and testify to the world about the heavenly path. Then we can lead humanity appropriately to establish universally, universal family. Therefore, the work, let us work to establish God's fatherland and hometown and the kingship of God on earth and in heaven by investing ourselves for the sake of others with absolute love and changing and unchanging love and eternal true love looking for the day when we can offer all heavenly sovereignty to God uh, I still didn't find the place where it said uh, the, the law will disappear. The That was True Father's words that says about the law. Love will be
Ah, ok. All right, thank you. You wanna? Uh, I'll look for these words later. Uh, okay. Yes. Anybody else? Thank you, Reverend Esra. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else wants to share about our reading today? So which one will go? Is here. Heaven. Honor is here. And as prophesied. Uh, when we talk about the Lamb that, that is, I think, Jesus Christ, and of course, as we have read here in the Revelations, you know, uh, the city has no need of sun or moon to <coughs> shine upon it, for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. And by its light shall all the nations walk, and the kings of the earth shall bring their glory into it, and its gates shall never be shut by day. And there shall be no night there, and they shall bring into the glory and the honor of the nations. But nothing unclean shall, be, shall enter it, nor anyone who practices abomination or falsehood but only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So, it's happening, I think, here on earth. And it's confirmed by Isaiah that it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountains of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains. So, even the mountain physically, uh, where there's a lake, yeah, we, we have it. <laughs> and they say that, come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he will, may teach us his ways, and we may walk in his path. So even, you know, it gives, gives us a glimpse mm. that they will go to that mountain, they teach us his ways, his ways, it's the heaven and earth training center mm. where our world mission quarters is now based. Yeah. Yeah. And we do ancestor liberation and many things there. And although it's, it's not, you know, the Jerusalem physically that there are, uh, you know, waiting for, for the the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem is, I think, not a physical uh, Jerusalem, but it will be a place where God, you know, will come down and teach all men. Mm -hmm. And I think we have the new Jerusalem. Yes. And it's no other than a country that is prophesied and where the people of the book will again unite you know, east and west as we have read here and as it is a new world of peace and joy even the Sikhism they are waiting for this city of joyful dwell uh, the saints of God. So these people are always serving uh, as they live for the sake of others. They were waiting for the Messiah like 500 years before. Yeah, the Messiah comes and they are, they have turbans in their their head. They always serve in all kinds of work from, from the military and they, they they always volunteer and for everybody and that's their you know Sikhism mm -hmm. they always live for the sake of others so, so I, I saw this guy he's sick and he mans a gasoline station he is so busy that you think you know he owns the place but he said I just work here <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah 
because that's their their upbringing and then the way of life mm. that they should serve with you know all their strength, all their might, and of course you know they always quick you know they do it quickly than many other people. Mm. Yes, and with the teachings of our Father is very very clear as we read this again that you know people will no longer want to take from their neighbors instead your neighbors will try to give you so much that you will run away from them yeah, <laughs> yeah. so it's happening you know, because as members we send uh, each other uh, maybe just outside and it goes back and forth until you know you know, you get so much that, okay, you better run, you know. I got so many things already, I have to run. Be away. And anybody else wants to share about a reading today? So, uh, we are longing for this, uh, for this world in the last paragraph here. Therefore, this world will have nothing to do with corruption, injustice, war, or crime. Mm. Humankind will eliminate the sources of pollution in the global environment mm. and love and protect nature as its true owner. So that's the meaning of all things without damaging, you know, the environment. Mm. So there will be more peop conscientious people who will find a way to raise energy without damaging the forest you know, and uh, the ecosystem and people will labor and perform their daily tasks joyfully and with a loving heart always aiming to serve and benefit others so uh, if it's a <laughs> job it's like it's really heavy you know and then uh, you are not joyful, so you don't enjoy it. So it's a real pain for many people. But in the future, people will labor joyfully. Mm. And I think we have it because we teach it to our children and to ourselves right now mm. in our, uh, our missionaries who go around the world. Mm. They're doing many, like the religious youth service. They do it joyfully with all other nations, other religions as one. Mm. And this brought about many other, you know, uh, volunteers like the Habitat. They make, you know, houses for uh, people who have no houses and, you know, living in the slums. So they bring them out there and then they live uh, comfortably and many others, you know, are. and education will include highly developed technological and scientific material. But before knowledge, sports, or technology, priority will be given to education of the heart and norms of blessed family life in order to raise the chosen people who can follow the way of heaven. So this was, as you you mentioned in New Hope Farm Declaration. Mm -hmm. So many have gone there. They invited even all members to go there and attend a 40-day workshop with your family. Mm -hmm. So our continental leader before was very strong. Those who have, he said, those who have big stomachs, <laughs> yeah, go, mm -hmm. go there. And most people went there with their families. Yeah. So uh, we'll read more the world of godly people who possess the kingdom within themselves. And that will be an interesting topic. So if there's no other reflection, let's all rise and have unison prayer. Our most beloved heavenly parents, we're so grateful for this reading about 
what is happening in God's hope is truly good in heaven near on earth, where there will be mutual cooperation here. There will be sharing of wealth also, and we pray that we are here in this world, or the part of the world where there is so much abundance. We pray that we may share it with other nations who have almost nothing. We pray that he will equalize with all the world giving to nations that have many things that are lacking. We pray that we can always yearn to have this kind of thing as we are now living as brothers and sisters in one as one family under God. We pray that we can really also bring about many things that can be good to the environment and also we pray that we can raise our children as we have died in the end that and uh, they can cover the teach you the ways of heaven. We pray to our heavenly parents that you use us as your instruments of to bring about this world as we bring in more conscientious people who can really implement and really absorb your words and directions and we pray for each other's success and we pray all of this in all our names and in my name as a national friends to seek the land blessing of the family our Jew our Jew Uri cloudy but we have a nice sunshine in the afternoon. Have a great and wonderful day. Thank you so much you also. Yes. 